ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, we have something that we're going to be needing to talk about just real quick. This video, no lawful authority to enforce statutes. I've been so bombarded with so many things. I had a consult yesterday. That consult lasted four hours. Well, a little bit over four hours. It was with a young man who contacted me, telling me about his situation. I can't tell you about the situation because it's a consult. It's private. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Well, anyway, he told me about his situation. And I had a conversation with him last week in our pre-consult conversation and call. And we talked about several things. Now, I couldn't get a bead on this individual. I couldn't tell what nationality he was. I couldn't tell anything other than his personality. And his personality was one where I said, you know what? He seems all right. After the consult, we had a 40-minute conversation. So we talked for over five hours yesterday in total. And I'm very impressed with this person. As a person. And so I took the time to do this document for him. I don't do documents for people uh, off script. In other words, outside the consult. This is the first time that that's happened. Other than them coming to me later after the consult and saying they need to respond to this person or that person, then I will from time to time step in. Whew. Well, anyway, got all of that out so that nobody gets an, any misunderstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the only way that I could figure out how to help him without violating the terms of my agreement with people so that nobody else gets to step on my toes or anybody else's toes. You did it for such a... Shut up. Sorry. Um, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to point out to you about this particular document I really, 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 really do appreciate. I mean it with all of my heart, putting this document together and the amount of time that it was put together. Notice this. Let me show y'all something because y'all y'all ain't seen it yet. Document is up. The link is up on the video. Just go to the end of the video. There's a link. You're going to see the document. But by this time, it's just now being put up. So y'all ain't seen it yet. It says it's an affidavit. It's admitted evidence via affidavit. Then it says there is a need to challenge the appointment of counsel and to highlight that the power of attorney comes from the accused and not from the court. The accused un 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 unalienable power to use their power how they choose and see fit to constitute otherwise or construe otherwise, excuse me, would be an abridgment of such a right, which is strictly prohibited by the first five words embedded in the First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States of America. Congress shall make no law. They can't take your power away. It's not there. They have no duty to do so. Wait a minute. Hold on. Now, I want to make y'all certain that y'all understand. Judicial officers are incompetent to enforce statutes. Statutes are not laws. So when they're enforcing a statute, they sit as a ministerial clerk. When acting to enforce a statute or its subsequent amendments to the present day, a judge of a municipal court is acting as an administrative officer and not in a judicial capacity. The courts, when administering and enforcing statutes, do not act judicially, but merely ministerially. Now, you won't be able to find Thompson versus Smith. Why? Because it's an unpublished case. Shh, don't worry about it. We got tons of other cases to go with Thompson versus Smith that are current cases that are published and taken from case text. That's why you see we got case citations. Okay? This is America's jurisprudence, constitutional law section 207. And it states, and this is quoted by the Colorado court, it is well settled that ministerial officers, and when a judge is enforcing a statute, they sit as a ministerial officer are incompetent to receive any type of grant to judicial power from the legislature. Their acts in attempting to exercise such judicial powers are necessarily nullities. That's what this court was quoting. So, ladies and gentlemen, any of you who have a case dealing with a traffic ticket, pay attention to what I'm saying. This is the motion for you. Okay, the link will be in the description. 
Watch the previous video so that you can get an idea of what's going on. Whew. Now, mind you, we got to do this right here, and I got to upload it again because what we're going to do is we're going to put this in red, okay? In red, let you know you got to fill this in because many of y'all, y'all like to put in documents without reading it and write, uh, without amending it. That's why I, I, I leave the errors there because if you want to put in one of my documents and you don't read, that's on you. It ain't important to you then. But anyway, the document is together. The document will be up. And you guys will have opportunity to play with the document. Okay. Thank you all for your taking the time. See, 1117. No, it's got can't be 1117. Hold on. We got to go here. And then we got to go back. Whew. Whew. See, that thing said 1117. It's, it's 1144. And we can't have no. It still says 1117. Oh, you know what? Snipe. I know what the problem is, y'all. I didn't do this. Okay, that's it's my fault, not y'all's. It is y'all's fault. Shame y'all letting me do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a good day. That's the end of this video. Arrivederci.